Hi, it's Miss Beth, and um, I'm reading books that commemorate the 20th anniversary of September 11th. Um, I've read these two other bo uh, books, Branches of Hope and This Very Tree. They don't belong to us, but you can request them from another library. And then there's Survivor Tree, which is a beautiful book, but is very, it's kind of long, so um, that might be a better one just to come borrow from us and read with somebody, okay, or by yourself. The next book I have is Fireboat, The Heroic Adventures of the John J. Harvey. It's by Myra Coleman, who is one of my favorite authors. And um, I just wanted to show you that there is this book. This is our audio book of the book. And a person mentioned in this um, Fireboat book, Jessica, is the author of this. And it tells about her adventures and how she ended up working on the John J. Harvey. So. You might want to read it with somebody, a child in your life, or listen to parts of it. Um, it was very interesting, I thought. So we have our end pages. I was lucky enough to see the John J. Harvey a few years ago up in Kingston. It's still a working boat, as far as I know. I believe so. New York City, 1931. Amazing things were happening, big and small. The Empire State Building went up, up, up. Babe Ruth hit his 611th home run in Yankee Stadium. Snickers. The, snick, the tasty treat, Snickers, hit the stores. Yummy. The George Washington Bridge was suspended elegantly across the mighty Hudson River. Um, doesn't It still looks the same, but doesn't quite look the same. And there's actually a book in our library about this little lighthouse, the little red, red lighthouse, if you ever want to read it. Champion Pedley Calling of Blarney won Best in Show at the Westminster Kennel Club. On a hot and jazzy night, the word hacha was invented. Hacha, 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 hacha. On a on a on a <laughs> on a sunny, fresh day, the John J. Harvey fireboat was launched. There were 12 fireboats in New York City. The Harvey was the largest, fastest, and shiniest fireboat of them all. It had five diesel engines, so it could go 20 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Eight pipes that could shoot 16 gallons of water per minute, equal to 20 fire trucks. Six, did I say 16,000? I hope I did. And I saw those working, and it's a lot of water, and I got wet. A completely round steering wheel, many brass bra nozzles housed in the gold room, a very nice oil can to oil all the, a very nice can to oil all the squeaks, ropes called lines, and lots of levers, buttons, and buckets. A control dial in the pilot's cabin. There were. There was a pilot and crew ready in two minutes to fight fires. They were a brave group. And there was a dog named Smokey, who did not put out fires, but had many nice spots. The Harvey went up and down the river, fighting fires. It fought fires at the bustling piers. The piers were places where ships and trains bought all manner of merchandise to be sold in the city, like wood and cotton and bananas and bubblegum and everything. It fought the fire of the great ocean liner in Normandy. Sometimes the Harvey just went out to shoot water in celebration. Many years passed and a new captain had come on board, Bob Lenny. He and his crew fought many fires, but, the, but New York was changing. The Twin Towers were now the tallest buildings in New York City, and the piers were closing.
1995. The city no longer needed so many fireboats. The Harvey was considered old and useless. It sat in, a wa in water for five years, waiting to be sold for scrap. And then a very surprising thing happened. A group of friends were eating at a restaurant called Florent. They heard about the fireboat and decided they decided something. Let's save the Harvey. Let's buy her. Everyone needs a fireboat. We don't put out, we won't put out fires. We'll just have fun. And they did. <clears throat> they took it to Cattle's shipyard. Oops. They took it to Cattle's repair shipyard in Staten Island. Even there, they said, she's old. It's hard to fix her. But the owner said, fix. So they fixed beautifully. They repaired her two propellers, making them new with a shiny coat of brass. Brass does not rot. They repaired holes with steel plates and covered the places where the rivets wept. They scraped barnacles and seaweed off the hull and painted her with a shiny coat of red paint. So if you don't know what rivers wept, rivets wept means or what barnacles are or maybe what brass is, you can look at them up. And once again, the Harvey was on the water. But Tim, the engineer, kept things running smoothly. Jessica, the en assistant engineer at the controls in the noisy engine room. She's the one that wrote the book that I showed you. Andrew welding, Chase helping, John fixing, Tom cooking, Huntley at the wheel, and Bob, Lenny watching over everyone and being proud. They made friends with the other fireboats on the river. The fire, firefighter and the McKeon. Everyone said the Harvey's a nice old boat, but she could never be used to fight a fire again. Never. Toot, toot, toot. A boat says hello with four toots. Did I do four toots? I hope so. But then on September 11, 2001, something huge and horrible happened to that the whole wor world shook. It was 8.45 in the morning. Another beautiful and sunny day. Two planes crashed into the Twin Towers. Crashed, crashed, crashed into the two strong buildings. The sky filled with fire and smoke. The buildings exploded and fell to the ground. Many people were hurt. Many lives were lost. The news spread. The city had been attacked. Everyone was terrified, but people were brave. The entire city sprang into action. Firefighters, police officers, and doctors, construction workers, teachers, and cooks, and children. The mayor said, and parents, and the mayor said, and the mayor was strong. He said, we will work together. We will not be broken. What were the people of the Harvey doing when the planes hit? Bob Lenny was trimming hedges. Tom was drinking tea in the kitchen. Chase was walking his dog radar. Tim reading the paper. Andrew was welding. John was working. Huntley was reading. David Copperfield. Jessica was writing a story. And Harvey was snoozing at the pier. They all had one thought. Get to the Harvey. And they did. They called the fire department. John J. Harvey ready to help. How can we help? The answer came, you can't help fight fires, but you can ferry people to safety. So ferry people to safety means they can just transport people. But then suddenly, an urgent message came loud and clear. John J. Harvey, where are you? We need you. We need you. The water pipes were broken and buried. The fire trucks had, that had raced to the scene could not pump water. The firefighters attached hoses to the Harvey. The Harvey fought the fires alongside the McKean and the firefighter. So they take water out of the river to, to um, put on the fire. It pumps it out onto the fire. For four days and four nights, the Harvey pumped water. The crew took turns sleeping. People bought supplies, fuel, sweater, gloves, pizza, sandwiches, and coffee. They worked and cried. They fought the fire until it was under control. Finally, it was time for the Harvey to go home. Everyone in the boat had seen, had never seen anything so terrible. They had never felt so proud. The Harvey was a hero and everyone knew it. The Harvey won an important award. At a ceremony, the audience cheered and some even cried. Now the Twin Towers are gone. 
something new will be built. So that was, this book was written before that. The heroes who died will be remembered forever. The Harvey is back to being a, being a very happy boat. Not scrapped, not useless, not forgotten. A proud and plucky friend. And all that's left is to say, Hacha, and thank you. Wait a minute. There's something more to say. The friends of the Harvey found a little to tugboat to adopt. Doesn't everyone need a tugboat? And that's the end. And there's actually things to read here. It's pretty cool. So, maybe go out and see if you learn. You can learn some more about the John J. Harvey, the fireboat, and listen to these this book a little bit. All right. Have a good day.